So if your business is scattered across 15 different tools in 2025, then you're basically operating with a blindfold on while your AI power competitors can see everything. Now, I've built AI integrated command centers for clients such as Saudi Arabia Ministry of Health, and I can tell you that the companies winning right now aren't the ones with the biggest budgets, they're the ones with the cleanest data. And that's what I'm going to talk about in this video. I'll show you exactly how Notion's brand new AI agents proved that Microsoft CEO Satya Nadella was right. The traditional software is dead. And I'll reveal the simple framework any business can use to build their own AI command centers. We're going to cover Nadella's shocking prediction about the death of SaaS, see Notion's new AI agents in action, explore why clean data is your secret weapon. And as a bonus on top of all that, I'm going to show you how you can automate your data collection from all of your tools to create one single source of truth for your business operations. Now, going on to Sadia Nadella's predictions, he suggests that AI agents will fundamentally redefine software as we know it. Today, software applications are largely built around a thin user interface layer over a database. The way that you can think about this without going too technical is you have the client side and then the server side. The client side is what you see and then the server side is all of the uh, fancy technical stuff that the developers work on. That includes writing the logic, encoding connections between databases and end users on the client side like what you see on Slack or Google Docs or Gmail, for example. But however, in the future, Sadir suggests much of this work will become obsolete. In Adele's words, the future will focus on databases and agents, AI-driven tools that will interact with data to meet user needs. And what this looks like in practice is you can query a natural language machine like a large language model such as ChatGPT, Claude, and you can query it about a database that it's connected to. It will give you a response and it can actually do well, and on top of that, it can perform actions for you too. And this is exactly what Notion has done. They've brought out their new AI agents where essentially anything that you do in Notion as a human, your agent will be able to do too. The busy work that fills your day now can be done in minutes. And you can see furthermore in their own words, you assign the task, the agent does the work. The new Notion agent handles manual work like a teammate built right into your Notion database. Share your goals and watch your agent work. What used to take days now takes minutes. It can handle multi-step tasks, creating multiple pages, updating information across your entire workspace and building entire workflows. This is the AI layer that Satya Nadella is talking about that is replacing traditional software. And to compound on this even further, Bill Gates in the book that he wrote, Business at the Speed of Thought 25, 26 years ago, basically suggested that companies must fully integrate digital technologies and network information systems into every aspect of their business in order to compete and thrive in the information age. Gates argues that organizations need what he calls a digital nervous system, or in this case, a command center, an internal framework that enables seamless real-time information flow across all levels, allowing businesses to make informed decisions rapidly and respond swiftly to changing market conditions across all team members, no matter the structure that you have within your business. And this perspective is furthermore backed up just by soft skills that Ray Dalio suggests in his principles that radical transparency is the idea that organizations and individuals should embrace open, unfiltered communication so that all important issues, challenges, and mistakes are brought to the surface and addressed honestly and collectively. Dalio argues that this level of candor and honesty cultivates an environment where all the best ideas win, regardless of hierarchy, by ensuring that decisions are scrutinized, debated, improved publicly in a meritocratic fashion, and on top of that, can actually be implemented as well. The brass tax of this is that data does not lie. AI can now query all of it instantly and can also take actions on your behalf. And some stats on what clean data can actually do for you can lead to 8 to 12% average revenue increases and cost savings up to 10% with improved targeting and operational efficiency. AI agents connected to centralized clean data systems magnify these effects drastically by enabling faster data-backed decisions, automation, and smarter customer engagements. Organizations can essentially combine clean data with AI-powered automation to achieve superior competitive advantage, agility, and sustained growth in 2025 and beyond. And this is what Palantir bet on massively with their Gotham platform, which is essentially a command center for companies' entire databases. And you can see it worked quite well for them, ethical or not. And the key insight is that what costs millions is now available to small to medium businesses through tools like Notion. You no longer have to go to a Palantir and spend 
millions and, and billions of dollars on a contract to get a centralized command center for your business. This is the democratization of enterprise level intelligence and business at the speed of thought. So how can you actually do this for yourself? I suggest starting small and manual. If you don't have any type of command center set up or you haven't used Notion before, I highly, highly suggest just beginning with some work templates on the Notion website. You can duplicate them into your own workspace once you've created your own workspace and build AI agents based on their templates on top of the templates that they have here for databases. For myself, you can see I have my agency hub here with a whole heap of different databases, particularly in the company scorecards. This is my operational layer where I hold all of my data. And you can see I can just take an agent from the Notion templates here and prompt it to query this database, to write new content, to give me suggestions on what new videos I should film, you know, whether my hooks were good based on my average view duration, whether my click through rate was good which is obviously based on the thumbnail. And you can see this is just a starting small and I'm manually updating my data here as well. So I can get these insights at a far more rapid pace than what a competitor would be able to. And to show you some further proof of concept, when I initially was doing this with a bunch of different tools bolted together, as opposed to just having it all integrated into Notion, these are some of the results I was able to generate with those real-time feedback loops and AI agents that would implement actions for me, like writing scripts. Now, the second step here is to supercharge your command center with no code automation. Now, the way that we supercharge things is by making these databases update periodically with an AI agent, or it doesn't even need to be an agent. It could just be a simple webhook that connects to YouTube, for example, and updates all the data in this database automatically for you. That means you get clean data and you can connect it to AI agents, which equals, like I said, an exponential productivity gain as well as competitive advantage. And with all that being said, it's very, very clear now that Nadella wasn't making a prediction. He was giving us a warning. And the companies that adapt to this AI layout revolution will thrive, and those that don't will be left behind. The good news is that you don't need a Microsoft or Palantir level budget to get started with this. You can just follow the steps that I outlined here by starting manual, starting small, and then supercharging your command center with no code automation. Again, this is the democratization of enterprise level intelligence and business functions at the speed of thought. With all that being said, if you found this video valuable and you want to explore yourself how to build your own AI command center like I do for my clients at Saudi Arabia Ministry of Health, different medical clinics, different logistics companies, influencer marketing campaigns, and things like this, then you can grab a free audit strategy session, whatever you want to call it, to discuss how you can do that via the first link in my description below. Also share the link to this presentation down below as well so you can see my thought process around why command centers are so, so important so you can integrate the AI layer on top of them. But if you found this valuable, please subscribe for more videos so you can stay ahead of all of this crazy stuff that's going on. Appreciate you for watching.